breaking, this world leader vows to assassinate President Trump. U.S. President Donald Trump has bouted a load of rubbish against Kim Jong-un's regime, and is a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people, North Korean state media said. In a Wednesday editorial, the newspaper wrote Aung San Mun said Trump dared malignantly hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership of the DPRK and its socialist economic system, The Guardian reports. It said he painted a black picture of the happy life of the great Korean people in a speech to South Korea's National Assembly last week. The worst crime for which he can never be pardoned is that he dared malignantly hurt the dignity of the supreme leadership of the DPRK. Trump, who is no more than an old slave of money, dared point an accusing finger at the sun. He should know that he is just a hideous criminal sentenced to death by the Korean people. The Korean people will regard the face of Trump as a symbol of wolf-like U.S. imperialism and as a target of merciless retaliation and send him to the hell he likes so much to tout. KCNA slash Rodong Sin Mun Rodong's editorial comes three days after Trump tweeted that Kim Jong-un called him old, and said the North Korean leader was short and fat. Trump has threatened war against Pyongyang, and vice versa, multiple times in the past but has never sentenced Kim to death. In his sole speech, Trump even appeared to abandon his usual fiery rhetoric against Pyongyang, saying instead he wanted to attain peace through strength. North Korea has vowed it will never negotiate with the UN and the United States, adding that their nuclear warheads and ICBMs will not only never be part of negotiations, but that they are protecting North Korea from the United States. North Korea also stated that the U.S. nuclear carriers are staging joint military exercises against the North and the East Sea of Korea. War lunatic Trump, stop nuclear war exercises against North at once was posted on the South Korean internet newspaper Minja Kilbo on November 13. It was clearly disclosed that Trump's visit to Asia was a war junket to examine the preparations for a nuclear war against the North at the final phase and it was a blatant one for the sale of American weapons, increase of the fund for the upkeep of the U.S. forces and the retrogressive revision of the Free Trade Agreement. Rodong added in its editorial, Rabid dogs barking can never frighten the Korean people, echoing a remark by North Korea's foreign minister earlier this year that Trump's anti-Pyongyang speeches were like a dog barking. The situation is almost comical, as if it were two kids on the playground throwing insults at each other because neither wanted to throw a punch. The United States of America will be at war with North Korea, POTUS Trump has made that very clear, it is just a matter of when and by what means. I do not believe nukes will be used, even little fat rocket man knows any attempt to launch a nuke would be the immediate end of North Korea. Huni Badger is a veteran who served our country as an army combat medic. Together we will make America great again. Great again.